Ah, fuck, I'm so retarded. My steering wheel is... <laughs> oh, my. Well, I got the first safety bow out. Mm-hmm. It's still pretty good, I guess. Now, trying to, trying to get the other one out. I think it was just freaking very hard. So this, these pins right here basically hold the airbag. That's on the Z. Oh, shit. Oh, no, why? Whatever. So while he's taking that out, I'm gonna show you guys the these bad boys. The thing's hard, right? That's basically what you need right there. So we just got the two safety bolts out from the side of the car. This should take out the airbag. You wanna be somewhat careful. No, not somewhat, very careful doing this. Okay, and where's my ground? All oh, right, the ground is up there. Okay, so you're gonna have these two little black things. What you wanna do is give me the freaking, the little one, the little. This is the part that I'm not sure about. Who do you, why is there a hair? This is why I'm going so slow, because there's a hair in my wire. So you wanna pop out these black ones right up here. Just like so. It's just like diffusing a bomb. <laughs> just like diffusing a bomb. a little scary. There you go. There you go. So, put this somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have this thing sideways. So this is basically your ground. That's your ground wire. So you might want to unplug that too. All right, so he was able to take this out because I'm kind of, um, I don't know if I'm gonna take it out. So now there's gonna be two little screws behind these metal parts right here. Plastic? Yep, plastic. I'm not really looking. This is not really smart. So you might be asking why we decided to make it sideways because if the steering wheel is straight you have your turn signal and your lights on the other end that don't let you put anything so we just decided to do it sideways is this correct no not this time the truth to be honest okay now the like truth this. was <laughs> that he parked and then he took off the battery and then uh yeah i kind of forgot you kind of forgot to straighten out the wheel but it turned out to be better way easier when they have those power drills let me tell you Oh, does that work? Wow, perfect. All right, guys. So I kind of forgot that there's we. I was able to take this screw out from this one, but there's like another one. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 nut itself. The nut itself has a thing. It has a arrow pointer where the number one is on the thing. So we took the metal bolt off. It's kind of a pain. But now we're gonna take this out because this is where you're gonna plug in your new um, remote cruise control sensor thing. So we don't really need that. And now I think you just wiggle it. We're gonna pull. You sure these don't have to come off? I didn't see. No, because that comes with the whole. Because, no, you're just wiggling and pull. Because the only thing holding that is this. Because this is just. There you go. Alright, so we just got it out with this little. T30. The T30. The same size, too? Alright, so if you guys are watching this to actually take this shit off, buy yourself a T30. Because people don't know how to explain the video. So, we literally just took like three different videos to try to do this. It's a, it's a torque, what's it called? A Torx bit? Right, That's what it's called. Adding key, like, I don't know, Torx, whatever. T30. T30. Yeah. Just the size. With a little thing in the middle. Yeah. It has, like, it has like a little in there, and I don't know if you guys can see it. Get that, because people don't know how to explain the damn video. So it's a T30, you're going to need small, um, what is it called? Freaking regular Phillips screwdriver, but small, so it fits through here. And then a small flathead to take the tabs off, and then to take off the... These clips, because they're a little bit of a pain. Because they're a pain. Smaller the better for it, exactly. to be honest. So you just get under it easy. I'm saying this stuff so you guys don't have to go to Home Depot three times like we did for the past two days. Because <laughs> people don't know how to explain the damn video. So just a T30 Torx bit, that's what it's called. Literally takes the safety ones out and the ones that inside the metal thing that we need to take out the plastic cover. There you go. So once it's here, you just like a, like you pull from here, from here, comes out, use and the springs that go under the bolt. Can't lose those. Let's go there. Yeah, put it on top. Now the last screw is just, hold up, it's gonna stop. Oh no, the last screw is just that one right there. And where's the screwdriver? The last two. These are the last two that are hidden so behind. remember, the, the ones that were behind the steering wheel, those are visible, and then these aren't. These are hidden. There you go. Uh, there is what we are replacing. Seba, show them the new ones. 
And those are the new ones. Those are the ones I'm gonna put to be able to change my map when you get a tune. That is every basically everything you need. And so basically, where do the cables go through? Um, they just smashed up. Hey, remember the other ones didn't have cables, so they just like literally like just piled up, I guess. No, nah. it's only this this one that goes on this. I think that's all we gotta worry about. So just assemble everything. I was back how it was the same way you guys just took it out. Just remember, just retrace your steps basically to put it back on. The only difference is that this time that first big cable that was connected here that you guys took out, you guys are gonna connect the ones that came with the cruise control on the new buttons you guys got. Um, we'll show you guys the final product right in a second. All right, guys. Moment of truth. All right, guys. Um, scary part. You know, it's the worst part that I need like my two. Well, just in case the thing. Dude, I would have died. <laughs> Hold up, better. Yeah, boys. Yeah,